I was 19 when we first met. With statements like that, this is why I get a lot of shit. (laughs) (laughs) Because I'm a lot older than you. So people, you know, there's that whole thing about our relationship where people are like, oh. Should have thought about it when you (laughs) were this. That's a good point. Good point. Fair. She's holding me accountable. See, I like it. I like it. I like it. It's good. I see it already. Um, Yeah. So I was 19 when we first met, Mm. um, but nothing happened. I mean, I had a boyfriend at the time. I just moved to Canada from Israel. And uh, we met at a friend's um, house. And uh, then I moved to New York. Okay. Oh, okay. Broke up with the boyfriend and came to visit. And I decided to throw a party. My mom opened this, like, restaurant. So I wanted to, you know, get people in. So I invited a bunch of people. And Gary was one of those people. She didn't even invite me directly. Like, she yeah, invited yeah. somebody who invited yeah. me. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that's when we started chatting, and uh, he asked me if I had a boyfriend. I said no, and then he invited me. No, I asked, how's your boyfriend doing when I saw you Which is the same thing. And you said, oh, we broke up. Yeah. So I was like, what's up? up? (laughs) He was, what's up? You want to go see a show? And I was like, no. I mean, no, I didn't say no, but I was like, yeah, we should all go as a group to see the show. Okay, yeah. so, so you got nice. friend zone. You got okay. friend zone right was, away? Yeah, immediate friend zone. That was her, like, polite. I'm a really nice person, so I'm like, I'm not saying no. I'm just like. That was yeah, her yeah. polite way. So you were just friends down. first? Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't really look at you at first as somebody. So what happened like was. Like on the Okay, okay, let's hear, okay, okay here, here we go. Oh, okay, <laughs> yes, so, I saw, so that night, I asked, how's your boyfriend doing? Because I remember from a year ago, she had a boyfriend. Yeah. And she goes, oh, we're not together anymore. And what happened then was, I didn't say anything to you that night, but I told our friend, Mary, our mutual friend, who, who we met through Mary, and who actually, she lives in Miami now too. We said to Mary, I, sorry, I said to Mary, um, hey, well, like, what's up with Larry? And she goes, oh, well, like she's single now, I heard. She goes, yeah, but Gary, she's 20 years old. Yeah. And I was 38. And I was like, oh, all right. Well, ask her Ask her what she thinks. You know, <laughs> I was a coward, right? I go, yeah, ask, yeah. Her, ask her what she thinks of me. And then Mary just never got back to me. Okay. So that was like, that was like the, Mary's the, polite. Like, did she ask you? Did she ask <laughs> she you? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, and she said, I'm not interested. Okay. Um, right? You said, I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah, you were too old for me. Yeah, I understand. You're a big talker. We have three kids now, so okay. <laughs> but, um, Things change. So then I saw her again a couple of weeks later. And I, uh, I saw her, I was chatting with her, and she's like, yeah, I have no way to get home. I'm like, hey, let me give you a ride home. And she goes, and I said, yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll, uh, I said, I'll give you a ride home. She goes, wait a second, don't you live downtown? I said, yeah. She goes, yo, but I, I'm, in, I'm staying in Richmond Hill with my mom. Opposite and we way. were like in the middle of the city. <laughs> yeah. It's the opposite way. And she goes, no, it's okay, don't worry, it's out of your way. I go, no, actually, I, I, that's the way I take. I take the highway, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Island, <laughs> nice. I take the 407 nice. across. Yeah, that 407, that's, that's where I go. So yeah. I'm already, it's on, it's, my, it's on my way. Yeah. So I took her, and then it was just going to be me and her. And then her friends, who had a couple of drinks, more than a couple, they heard that we were, I was driving her, and they're like, hey, we're going up there, too. Can you became you the Uber. Us? So exactly. then I became an Uber. So first, I was friend-zoned. Then there I was go. the Uber driver. <laughs> you're, you're getting there, though. Um, you're you getting know, up. Like, I don't up. know if I'm moving up or down. And what was happening in your mind at that time? Like, what were you trying to do? I was just trying to, like, talk to her, get her number, yeah. hang out with her, you know, spend cool. some time with her. Cool. So, um, and and, and from, from a career perspective, though, where are you at that point? Um, I was in the middle of closing like a big deal. Okay. Uh, to sell a, to sell a, a company. Yeah. company that I owned. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so he was confident. Oh, you know? he was pumped. You know yeah. that? You know that's like energy? I had yeah. swagger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had swagger. Yeah, so then, you know, I just, we started BBMing each other because I understood that like the way she let me down, she let me down in such a polite way that mm-hmm. I thought, what a, what a good girl. Like, she's such a nice girl. And to be honest, I thought to myself, you know what? She's a pretty girl. She probably has maybe you know some older friends. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to be networking because at that age, you have to be intentional about finding a wife. So I'm like, yeah. you know what? Cool. Like, she's a nice girl. She let me down easy. Um, she wasn't rude about it because a lot of young pretty girls will have an attitude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But she was, she was, she was good. So I said, okay, cool. And we just started BBMing. Remember BBM? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of get course. The pain, get the pain we were going. talking about it the other day. It was yeah. so best. So I dropped all the bullshit. I dropped all the game, this and that. We were just friends. Yeah, yeah. so okay. I was in New York and we were messaging a lot. Yeah, yeah. And I but like, like just friends, it. just yeah. like that's it. Yeah, yeah. How, how long was the friend stage? <laughs> and, and what sparked the next stage? Um, Champagne. A few months. <laughs> yes, Tequila. alcohol. <laughs> Tequila, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> A few months we were friends, and then when I came back to Canada, we went out with a couple of friends, and then we ended up in like a lounge, right? So she then we was had champagne. she was in town <laughs> from New York, okay, and 
I, she was staying at her mom's in Richmond Hill, up in the suburbs of Toronto, and she knew I lived in the city. And she's like, hey, you want to hang out? She had, and it was a holiday weekend. Nobody else was in town. So she needed yeah, someone to take her and her friend out. Yeah. Her, friend was, her friend was in from Israel, her okay. childhood friend. So I grabbed the buddy and the four of us went out. Again, just friends, whatever. And that night, we ended up, uh, just the two of us, we went to a lounge. I ordered a bottle of champagne. We each had some champagne. And then we kissed. And then at that moment, then it should be my wife. That's it, done. Damn. In my mind, it was, it was, it was done. <laughs> Set in stone, eh? <laughs> Did you know mind. that too yeah. at the, the same moment? No. I mean, I felt it was something, but I mean, I was 20 years old. I don't True. think I was thinking about... Yeah, that's tough about, to think like that. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, yay, hey, I'm, you know, in town for a little bit. I'm going back to New York. So yeah, this yeah. is when you were 20 and you were 38. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, and uh, okay, you're, you're in New York. The way I remember it, she she came, she left New York to be with me. Okay. Because I, I proposed to her and, like, Good. I wasn't going to move to New York, right? <laughs> so she came to Toronto. How, yeah. how long after... Like, how long were you dating before? Two months. Two months, eh? Also, you <laughs> knew, eh? You were fucking, <laughs> you were ready to I'm go. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> it clear oh, out. Hey, intentional, yeah, yeah. though. After 10 days, after 10 days, I said to her, I said, you're going to be, I'm not proposing yet. I said, but you're going to be my wife. Mm. Uh, but I'm not proposing yet, so don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. And then what I would do is every couple of days, I would check in with her yeah. and make sure she's okay. I'm like, listen, you know where this is going. I just want to make sure you're okay. Like, you're all yeah. right. So she goes, come meet my mother. And then I met her mom, and her mom's like, what do you want? And I said, look, I love her, but I want to marry her. And she goes, look, the choice is her. If she's, if she's cool with it, then you guys can continue dating. And, and, and at choice. that point, how did you know that quickly that this is the person you wanted to be with? Did you, did you have other relationships in the past? And, and well, yeah, I was 38 years old. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> so I assume so, right? Yeah, the experience, you knew already. Yeah, I had a lot yeah, of yeah. girlfriends. I had a lot of relationships, like long-term, short-term, whatever. You just know. You get to a point where you know. Yeah. yeah. You know. Like, you know, I do... I. We just did we just did a podcast on Valeria's podcast and we mm. were talking about soulmates and stuff. So I don't know that I necessarily believe in that, but when you have already as much experience as I had, especially as a man, you just know what you want. So yeah. I identified immediately that she was just for me, she was like the perfect person. So 